Welcome to Behind the Teams with Dregbaz and Zathirin, and we're going to be looking at our Mega Houndoom Massacre team that we used and just explaining what we used and why. So starting off we have Mega Houndoom here, carrying Flash Fire just in case the opponent tries to use a fire move before we Mega Evolve, carrying Dark Pulse as just a really powerful Dark Stab move, Flamethrower for the additional fire damage, as well as, you know, it's got the accuracy that you need. Yeah, Nasty Plot, it's basically just boosting us up because we are modest in the uh, stat distribution, because we want this thing to be a powerhouse, it just hits everything. Even, like, a Nasty Plot boosted Dark Pulse hitting things neutrally is just incredibly powerful. Nothing wants to take that. I do notice that we should have switched more often on Mind Shows, or at least used a Flamethrower or Dark Pulse to hit it, but more often than not we would Nasty Plot and then just be forced to switch, but it was pretty safe. So the Hidden Power Grass was mostly there to stop water types, rock types, and ground types that would try to wall us, and especially with the Nasty, po uh, nasty Plot bonus, that was really deadly to them. Yeah, it helped us deal, especially with Quagsires, those things were so common before they got moved to OU. Um, if you're boosted with Nasty Plot, you could hit Mega Blastoise decently, though we usually switched into something like Shelob or Bromsfeld because it was not a guaranteed kill, ever really. So uh, EV distribution is quite uh, simple on this one, it's just 4 HP, 252 special attack, and 252 speed with uh, modest nature. So gonna go on to Shelob now, the Galvantula. It's a pretty standard set, just gonna use Focus Sash and pretty much just Bug Buzz, Thunder, Volt Switch, and Energy Ball. So this set was actually originally a support set, but because we kept running into deadly threats like Rhyperior, we needed to switch on Energy Ball instead of Sticky Web. Yeah, that nasty little trick they get on a Gastrodon or something like a Rhyperior has, is just, they don't see it coming for some reason, because not all Galvantulas carry it, especially when you lead with it. The other thing that's nice about it is the Sash, because even if you don't use it to get web, like we are really, you can switch it in later, guaranteed you're going to take a hit, you can either kill something with Thunder, get that Volt Switch, and just, as long as there's no rocks, it's just really handy to have for late game sweeping. So yeah, the, EV on the EVs on this one is just going to be 4 HP, 252 special attack, 252 speed, and you're going to go positive speed nature, minus physical attack nature. Alright, this is Lady Sorel, which is a Miss Magius. Um, I really like it because of the utility in the moves. The original set that I designed for this was Assault Vest, because it has really good special defense. However, we wanted that to be for a different Pokemon, so we are like, eh, let's go Life Orb, get good in uh, increased damage on all the attacks, especially when you're trying to have a utility. So basically Shadow Ball is just stab, very powerful. Dazzling Gleam is for switching in on fighting types. You can basically hit them super effectively. Thunderbolt and Energy Ball are both just for te for the team. I know we have Bromsfeld and Shelob for Electric and Grass, but it's nice to have it on another Pokemon, especially if those other two get defeated in any way. It's a uh, Timid Miss Magius, Extra Speed. It never really outsped things surprisingly, but I don't know. I thought it was really good yeah, and the EV setup on this one is quite similar to the past ones. Same setup as uh, Galvantula, just 4 HP, 252 special attack, 252 speed, and timid. Okay, this was my pride and joy out of all the Pokemon. It was a custom set Go Goat, because they're all bulk up, bulky variants. And I don't know, I thought that we could do something cooler with it. So I decided that I would make it Scarf Go Goat with Leaf Blade, Aerial Ice, Earthquake, and Rock Slide, and early videos we used Horn Leech for recovery, which we never really used to be honest, but we decided to change it to Aerial Ace after uh, Zathirin realized grass types were just switching in and walling us even after we had the Sap Sipper bonus. So put Aerial Ace on, it worked like a dream, like oh my gosh, it was just so good. So I love this set, it could not be any better. It worked really well against fighting uh, Azelfs actually. Yeah, it did. It could actually outspeed and then get some good damage, if not kill it. So yeah, the EV set for this one, again, quite standard. 4 HP, 252 attack, 252 speed, and that is going to be Jolly. You say this is standard, but we all realize that I've never seen mm -hmm. another Go-Goat like this. Alright, so now we have our team's defensive wall, Quagsire, also known as Blah Blah Bulk. And this is going to be an extremely standard set, but our team really needed it. So it's just going to be running leftovers unaware, toxic to try and like weaken enemy sweepers or teams that try to set up against you. Yeah, especially on a predicted switch on something like a Victini where you know they're going to switch with a U-turn, you can get a free toxic on something. Scald is just there if you need to get a burn on them or just water stab. 
Earthquake for just laying down some really heavy physical damage, and Recover, because who doesn't love Recover? Yeah, we're actually running a bit of a different nature. We are running relaxed because we lowered our own speed, but that's because we didn't want to weaken Scald or Earthquake. We want them both to be as high as they can be on a physical wall. So by doing that, you know, keeps some offensive power on it. All right, so we're gonna switch to our last guy now, which we added quite late into the game, actually. Yeah, this was our Hitmonchan replacement, who was originally using our Assault Vest, because we don't have a specially defensive wall on this team. Rather, we were like, let's just put something with an Assault Vest and have some more offensive power. So this is a modified version of my Machamp set, so it does not have Stone Edge, as you can tell. It's running No Guard Dynamic Punch, because a confusion on anything is incredibly useful, though it didn't turn out to be for us. Knock Off is utility, as well as ghost coverage. Uh, Poison Jab and Bullet Punch are designed to stop fairies. That's exactly what this team is supposed to be. Or this Pokemon, rather. <laughs> so a self vest guarantees you can take a hit, and then Poison Jab plus a Bullet Punch can kill something like Florgis, which has always been a problem for us. Yeah, we really had a lot of problems with Florgis early on in our playthrough. I think this was a much better switch for the team. It was very powerful, it's got a lot of utility as opposed to the Hitmonchan, and it just wrapped the team up very nicely. So just 252 HP, 252 attack, 4 special defense, and that is going to be adamant. And that will be the team that we used. It was really effective near the end. I enjoyed using it. I'm sure you did too. It was really fun. It'll be great to do another set like this. Yeah, um, a little quick warning here is that we may not be able to bring Pokemon videos for, I'd say, until a bit later in the month because there's been some complications. We may try to put a couple other videos up in the meantime just to hold people over, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully we can get into some more sessions later, and I look forward to that. Yeah. Have a good day.